Hello everyone. Hello everyone. We will learn class 7 Geography in CERT Chapter 6 Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. Natural vegetation is a process in which vegetation grow on its own without human aid. Wildlife is the life presence in the natural habitation, especially in forest and grasslands. Today we will see how the vegetation and wildlife grow in a nature. What is natural vegetation? It refers to a plant community, total plant community, right from grasslands, minute grass to the mighty banyan tree, which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undisturbed by humans for a long time. Means long time when human beings are not disturbing, that is called virgin vegetation. Cultivated crops and fruits, orchards also include in the natural vegetation along with forest grasslands. Now we will see wildlife. Wildlife traditionally refers to undomesticated animal species but has come to include all organisms that grow or are live wild in an area without being introduced by humans. Wildlife can be found in all ecosystems. Ecosystems may be of many types. There may be land ecosystem. On the land itself we have plains, plateaus, mountains, deserts and uh, there is a aquatic ecosystem. And both the places they are found in both the ecosystems, the wildlife is present in the land ecosystem as well as the aquatic ecosystem that we shall discuss in this particular chapter. What are the factors for the growth of vegetation? There are some factors which are helping for the growth of vegetation. Among those factors, these three are very, very important. One is temperature. Amount of degree of hotness or coldness is nothing but temperature that can be measured in thermometer either in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Next important one is moisture. Moisture is the next important factor that is helping for the growth of vegetation that is amount of vapor in the atmosphere. Thickness of soil. This is another important factor because soil has taken so many millions of years to develop this present formation and uh, how much thick is the, the more the thick is the better for the crop cultivation. That's why the thickness of soil is also a very important factor for the growth of vegetation. Classification of natural vegetation. We can classify vegetation into three categories. Number one, forest. Number two, grasslands. Number three, shrubs. Forests which grow where temperature and rainfall are plentiful to support a tree cover. Depending upon these factors, dense and open forests are grown. Forests may be of many types. Thick forest or thin forest. In the thick forest, human Entry cannot be possible. In thin forest, human beings are approaching, accessing and then spoiling, exploiting the forest to cover. These are all forests. This is what we can say that tens are a very thick forest. Just shown here. Next important category of the vegetation is grasslands. Grasslands which grow in the tropical zone, temperate zone, as well as in the frigid zone. But now we have here 
the grasslands which grow in the region of moderate rainfall there is no heavy rainfall like the thick forest or evergreen forest where we can see heavy rainfall area but grasslands can survive in a moderate rainfall area that is between 75 to 150 cm 75 to 100 cm rainfall per annum shrubs thorny shrubs and scrubs grow in the dry regions the desert areas or tundra region or you can say the, in the polar belt that we will discuss these three are the important types of vegetations that is forest grasslands and shrubs now we can have a detailed study about the forest first there are six varieties of forest we will study in this chapter that is tropical evergreen forest which are found in the tropical belt of the heat zones there are five heat zones torrid zone temperate zone and frigid zone so in the tropical belt of the that is from equator 23 degree 30 north 23 degree 30 south we do find tropical evergreen forest and tropical deciduous forest third one temperate evergreen forest that we can find between 23 degree 30 to 66 degree 30 north and south area we can find temperate evergreen forest as well as temperate deciduous forest Fifth one is Mediterranean vegetation, which is found around Mediterranean Sea, in the southern part of Europe and the western part of Asia, that is Middle East and northern part of Africa and also the eastern side of the American continent. So, coniferous forest are the sixth category. These six varieties of vegetation forest we will study in this particular chapter. Now we shall take up the first tropical evergreen forest. Its feature we will study. These are tropical evergreen forests which are grow in areas very close to equator, like Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Amazon. All these areas we do find tropical evergreen forest. These forests are also called tropical rainforest because of abundance of rainfall here. these thick forests occur in the regions near the equator and close to the tropics these regions are hot and receive heavy rainfall throughout the year as there is no particular dry season the trees do not shed their leaves altogether this is the reason they are called evergreen always evergreen the thick canopies of the closely spaced trees do not allow the sunlight to penetrate inside the forest even in the day time hardwood trees like rosewood ebony mahogany are common in this type of forest and we do find elephants and other monkeys langur or some of the important animals are found in the tribe the next important variety is the tropical deciduous forest tropical deciduous forest or the forest also known as monsoon forest which are found in the larger part of india northern australia and the central america this is the entire part of india northern part of australia and also the central part of america we do find this these regions experience seasonal changes because this part of central america of america and then entire part of india and northern part of australia experience seasonal changes that's why these kind of forests are found here trees shed their leaves in the dry season to conserve water that is one of the important feature of this forest they are also known as monsoon forest the hardwood trees found in these forest are 
साउ टी नीम एंड शीशम ये सारे था वेजिटेशन फाउंड किया हार्डवुड ट्रीज और एक्सट्रीमली यूजफुल फॉर मेकिंग फर्नीचर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन मटेरियल्स टाइगर्स लायंस एलिफेंट्स लंगूर्स और मांकीज आर द कॉमन एनिमल्स ऑफ दिस रीजन्स temperate evergreen forests are found in the temperate zone of hemisphere northern and southern hemisphere these temperate evergreen forests are located in the mid latitude in the coastal region these are the mid latitudes and these are the mid latitudes you can see here these are all what we can find out middle latitudes in this middle latitudes we we find in the southern middle latitudes and then in the northern middle latitudes these are located these are located they are commonly found along the eastern margins of the continents example in south east asia this is the south east asia sorry south east usa south china this is the south china and south east brazil this is the south east brazil and these are the areas where we do find the temperate evergreen forest they comprise both hard and soft wood trees like oak pine and eucalyptus etc This is one of the important animal found here, langur, a golden langur, and elephants also found here in this temperate evergreen forest. Next important forest is temperate deciduous forest. Temperate deciduous forest again found on the temperate zone of the globe as we go towards higher latitudes there are higher latitudes means i told you already this is suppose say for example the globe these are all tropical belt and this is middle latitudes and these are all higher latitudes these are all higher latitudes If you go towards higher latitudes, these temperate deciduous forests are found. More temperate deciduous forests are found in the higher latitudes. These are found in the northeastern part of the USA. The northeastern part. This is the northeastern part of the USA. China. This is the China area. New Zealand here New Zealand these are the areas where we found in the coastal regions of this western europe also we can the coastal regions of west europe also western europe also we do find this kind of forest the common trees are oak ash beech etc deer foxes wolves are the animals commonly found birds like pheasants and monarchs are also found here in this particular forest this is a deer these are foxes this is wolf this is pheasant and this is monarch these are all the important animals found in this forest Next important vegetation or forest we will see that is the Mediterranean vegetation. This cover is adjacent to the Mediterranean Sea. This is mostly found in the southern part of the Euro, northern part of Africa, and Middle East. That is in the eastern part of Asia. We can find. You have learned that most of the Eastern and northeastern margins of the continents are 
covered by temperate evergreen deciduous trees that we have studied. Now we will go. The west and southwest margins of the continents are different. They have Mediterranean vegetation. It is mostly found in the areas around the Mediterranean Sea in Europe, Africa and Asia. Hence, the name is appeared as Mediterranean. This kind of vegetation is also found outside the actual Mediterranean region in California in the USA, Southwest Africa, Southwestern South America and Southwestern Australia. These regions let us to are marked for hot and dry summers and mild rainy winters. Citrus fruits such as oranges, figs, olives and grapes are commonly cultivated here because people have removed the natural vegetation in order to cultivate what they want. There is not much Coniferous forests are the sixth variety or category of the forest that we have in this chapter because the leaves have conical shape, hence, these forests are known as coniferous forests. These are the coniferous vegetation. You can see the leaves are having conical shape. So this kind of shape is called conical shape. So this is cone. So hence these forests are called coniferous forest. They are found in the higher latitudes between 50 degree to 70 degree latitude in the northern hemisphere. The spectacular coniferous forests are found. These are called as taiga forest. These forests are also seen in the higher altitudes. High, higher altitude means, suppose, say for example, this is a sea level. If you go above the sea level at the rate of 165 meters up, you will have 1 degree Celsius less temperature. So, this is higher altitudes means higher area there like Himalayas and like you can say the all mountains and then rocky andes all these things they are tall and softwood evergreen trees are found in the coniferous forest the woods of these trees are very useful for making pulp which is used for manufacturing paper and newsprint paper match boxes and packing boxes are also made from softwood which are found Chir, pine, sitar are the important variety of trees in this forest. Silver fox, mink, polar bear are the common animals found here. These are all now after having this background. Now we shall pass on to the next important topic that is the grasslands, which are found in the tropical belt as well as temperate belt and the thorny bushes which are found in the desert area. Grasslands may be of three categories. One is the tropical grasslands which are found in the tropical belt of the globe. Temperate grasslands which are found in the temperate belt. Thorny bushes which are found in the tropical deserts. These are the three grasslands we will study in this particular topic. Tropical grasslands, temperate grasslands, and thorny bushes. This is, you can see the grasslands here. These are tropical grasslands. These are savanna grasslands of Africa. Are very famous example of tropical grasslands. Savanna in Africa is a very famous example. Tropical grasslands, these occur on either side of the equator and extend till the tropics. The vegetation grows in the areas of moderate to low amount of rainfall areas. The grass can grow very tall, about 3 to 4 meters in height. Savanna grasslands of Africa are of this type. Elephants, zebras, 
giraffe, deer, leopards are common animals wildlife found in the tropical grasslands. Elephants, zebra, giraffe, deer and leopards again giraffe. These are all some important animals we found in these tropical grasslands. Next important grasslands are temperate grasslands. These are found in the mid-latitudinal zones and in the interior part of the continents. Usually, grass here is short and nutritious. Wild buffaloes, bisons, antelopes are common in the temperate grasslands. These are wild buffaloes, these are bisons, these are antelope. These are our next important category of vegetation we have to study under grassland that is thorny bushes. These are found in the dry areas where rainfall is very very scanty, very less desert areas like regions. Tropical deserts are located on the western margins of the continents. The eastern margins we do not have, western margins only we are having all the tropical deserts. The vegetation cover is scarce, very very less here because of scanty rainfall and scorching heat and very high temperatures are found here due to which what happened the rainfall is very scanty only the thorny such as cacti, kicker, baboon, care and uh, these are all some important uh, for you say the plantations, uh, vegetations found here. Identify the desert regions in the world map. I will show you. Can you come? Can you name the great desert of India? Not the world. India you have to tell. Name some of the common animals of the desert which you have learned earlier. Can you tell what is identify the desert regions in the world map will come? Our largest desert in India is Thar Desert. The largest desert in the world is Sahara. Some animals you can find the wild ass and then camel and then these are all some important animals. Camel is the ship of the desert. These are all what we can see the important deserts of the world. Here we are having in our here in country and Pakistan also, India and Pakistan that is we have the Thar Desert. In Australia we have one desert area and Asia we have Gobi Desert in Mongolia and Iran Desert and then you can say we have Saudi Arabia and Sahara here, Kalahari in South Africa and then Takama, then you can say California. Okay, all these are all we given here. Great Basin Desert that is number one. Great Basin Desert is here. Peruvian Desert, this is a Peruvian Desert in South America, in, in South America and Atacama Desert in again South America, Patagonian Desert in southernmost part of the South America, Sahara Desert here, Arabian Desert is completely here. Then we have Turkmenistan desert is here that is in the central part of Asia. Great Indian desert is here. Gobi desert is in Mongolia. Then Tibet, sorry. Tibet. Kalahari and Namibia desert is in Africa. These are all some important deserts. We have to have some knowledge about that. chapter if you reach the polar region you will find the place extremely cold the growth of natural vegetation is very very limited here because of extreme cold conditions the vegetation cannot grow only mosses lichens and very small shrubs are found here it grows during the very short summer these are all you can say the 
orchitic belt and uh, then this area we found this kind of vegetation these are mosses these are lichens and this is called type what you can say the tundra type of vegetation this is what we have the tundra type of vegetation which is found in polar region of northern part thank you very much for patient to watching